talk to you today about the CISE fuel injection system found on later model Volkswagens. We're going to go through all the basic checks and adjustments, focusing on the CO and idle speed adjustments. That's right. Included in these basic adjustments are making sure you got your engine up to operating temperature first, make sure all your electrical consumers are switched off, and also make sure that the oxygen sensor remains connected during all your checks and adjustments. Let's go through the adjustments on this car. This car is equipped with CISE and has an idle stabilization valve here. Before we can make the idle speed, ignition timing, and CO adjustments, there are a few things we'll have to do to prepare this car. On all vehicles, you'll have to disconnect the carbon canister hose. On this car, you leave the hose vented to atmosphere, but insert this T-piece into the intake boot. Not all Golfs and Jettas have this T-piece, so if the one you're working on doesn't have it, you'll have to find one. The T-piece has to be turned so that the side with the restrictor is stuck into the air boot. For specifics on the car that you're working on, always refer to the repair manual microfilm. Next, we'll have to disconnect the crankcase breather hose from the side of the engine. We'll also vent this hose to atmosphere. So again, check the repair manual microfilm for the proper procedure. Now, let's start the engine and check the ignition timing. Now with the engine running, we're ready to check the idle stabilization valve. First, we'll connect the adapter for the dwell meter. Proper adjustment of this idle stabilizer valve is very important. The idle stabilizer valve is a device which regulates a certain amount of air to bypass the throttle plate. This is how it controls the idle speed. The idle stabilizer valve is controlled by the fuel injection control unit. During its operation, the valve can be opened, closed partially, or closed all the way, depending on the engine's idle air requirements. How far open or closed the valve is can be monitored by using the dwell meter. The dwell meter reads the valve position in percent or degrees of dwell. And remember to always use the four cylinder scale for this measurement. Every time you do the basic checks on an engine, you have to make sure that the idle stabilization valve is set properly, even though the idle speed is correct. You see, the idle speed could be correct, but the idle stabilizer valve could be too far open or too far closed. This could be caused by the idle speed screw being in too far or out too far. With the engine running, we can make this adjustment by turning the idle speed screw. That puts the idle stabilizer at a reference point from which it can do its work. For this car, the specification is 28% plus or minus 1%. I'll turn the idle screw until the value is correct. And remember, always refer to the repair manual microfiche for the specifications for the car you're working on. Now you're ready to adjust the fuel mixture. Make sure the engine is shut off first. Disconnect the wire from the differential pressure regulator. Connect the adapter and the milliammeter. You make the adjustment in the same place as you do on CIS cars, but with CISE, you make the adjustment electronically. What you're actually doing is you're setting the operating range of the differential pressure regulator. The differential pressure regulator influences the amount of fuel going to the injectors by controlling the difference in fuel pressure between the upper and lower chambers in the fuel distributor. The differential pressure regulator contains a plate valve that regulates the fuel pressure in the lower chamber of the fuel distributor. This plate valve is controlled by the fuel injection control unit. In order to check or adjust the position of this plate valve, you have to use a milliamp meter. Now that we have the meter connected, let's start the engine. Using the milliamp meter, you can adjust the milliamp current to the correct specification. Just like the idle stabilizer valve, the differential pressure regulator has a range which it must operate in. 
if the differential pressure regulator is not set correctly, that is to operate within that range, it may not be able to keep the fuel mixture correct for all engine operating conditions. 10 milliamps of current at idle is what the factory has determined to be the correct starting point for the operation of the differential pressure regulator. Using an Allen wrench, you adjust the current to 10 milliamps by turning the sensor plate adjustment screw. Nevertheless, once the milliamp setting is correct, the CO should always be checked. You should never assume that the CO is correct just because the milliamp setting is on. That's right, Jim. The milliamp current could be correct, but the CO might still be off. The car could have a malfunctioning injector or an intake air leak. The important thing is always check the CO percent. Another reason for checking the CO is because you can tell if the oxygen sensor system is operating or not. And it's also a good check for the overall condition of the engine. In summary, whenever you are making adjustments on a car equipped with CISE fuel injection, always perform your preliminary setup procedure. Adjust your ignition timing. Adjust your idle. Adjust your differential pressure regulator current and check your CO percent. Always refer to your repair manual microfiche for the correct procedures and specifications for the car you're working on. <laughs>